the casualty has suffered a broken bone or fracture, you will need to immobilize the injury by splinting it. Immobilizing the broken bone will provide support and keep it in place so the injury doesn't get worse. Before splinting, first be sure to control any bleeding or hemorrhage and treat the casualty for shock. Establish that the casualty circulation is not impaired prior to splinting. Begin by exposing the site of the fracture. If the bone is exposed, as in a compound fracture, be sure to cover the ends with sterile dressings prior to splinting. Splint the fracture in the position that it is found. The splint can be any sturdy, straight piece of solid material that will support, stabilize, and immobilize the injured limb. To avoid further injury, never try to reposition a fracture or put back an exposed bone. Only properly trained medical professionals should readjust the injury. Move the fractured part as little as possible while applying the splint. Pad the splint at any bony prominences such as the elbow, wrist, or ankle. Immobilize the splint above and below the fracture. Reassess circulation after the splint is secured. When in doubt, treat all injuries as a possible fracture. Evacuate the casualty if needed and seek proper medical attention.